Damn it. Breakers. Turn the power back on. Okay. Shit. Hello? Mr. Demet? Demet? Might be time to join the 21st century, guys. How can you read in here? The lady looks 10 years younger, but how? The Columbus Spa. Mm hmm. The European Health Secret now on Lake Michigan. Bath house, manicures, day spa, facials, and more. Staff notice due to the winter sun pool opening hours have changed. Our new hours daily 10 to 5. Thursday open late at guest request management. Okay. P.F. Richardson, Mr. and Mrs. Mark Edwards, East Third Lighthouse, eligible, Lake eligible, date 2011. Dear Mark and Jennifer, mm, I just sneezed. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Mark Edwards, East Third Lighthouse, eligible, Lake eligible, date August 3rd, 2011. Dear Mark and Jennifer, as instructed by you, we have made the requested amendment to your will. A codicil has been added with states, which states that in the event of both of your deaths, the sole benefic the beneficiary of your entire estate is Mr. Richard Belknap. We recommend that a copy of this letter is given to your legal representative for their records. Please remember you can view any of your will or life insurance documents at any time by logging into your online account. Jessica Maxwell's handwritten signature, senior administrator. Okay. It's very dark. Great. Enter the creepy maintenance room in the creepy hotel on the creepy island to shoot a doc about serial killers all alone and without my stun gun. Choices, Jamie. Make better choices. This is your own damn fault. Shit, what was that number? You should always have a pen and paper when you play these type of games. Well... Not these type of games, but like, enjoy your memorabilia, dude. Ben at Killer Fralin. Killer Fernalia. Fernalia. Killer Fernalia. Online auction for serial killer memorabilia. Shipping address pin printed on postage label. Authentic original hat as worn by H.H. H. Holmes in famous photographs. Dear Mr. Clark, General Contractors, Mr. Belknap has requested further renovations to the hotel spa. We're currently negotiating a formal contract and would like the remaining crew to conduct a cost assessment. Mm, okay. Mr. Belknap can provide a detailed breakdown of the work he wants. Once your report has been received, we will arrange for a replacement crew to alleviate, alle, alleviate, alleviate you and your team for a period. In the interim, please continue to adhere to the terms stipulated in the non-disclosure agreement and treat this period as an extension of the previous contract. Mm, cost assessment. Okay. Hmm. This bell knob, whatever his name is, has um gotten people to sign over their the money so you can build this place. Dear Mr. Belknap, 
following our discussions regarding renovating the hotel property for the purpose of converting it into a tourist attraction, we have reviewed your last latest design to estimate the construction work necessary. Please find overlay for a breakdown of the work as well as an estimate of the total cost. The work can commence Thursday 13th of January and will take approximately 10 weeks with an estimated end date of March 24th. Please contact me if you wish to proceed. Whoa. 838,450. I think. <laughs> Shit. Less than a million. Okay. Um, alright, wait. What's this place? Shit. Something's gonna happen. Okay. <sighs> the breakers. Uh -huh. Okay, so this is the number I was talking about up here. Yes. Zero one eight zero. Okay. Zero one eight zero. What? Really? That wasn't the one. Hmm. Huh. Kate is getting creative with Charlie's script. Series of dissolves between key exhibits details. A hand reaches into frame and rings the desk bell. As intros go, this one's utter garbage. I see criticism. I don't see any better suggestions. Tilt up to reveal Kate. Kate, does this sound right to you, to camera? The World's Fair Hotel was a hotel like no other. Its hallways ran red with blood. Its sheets were washed in mother's tears. <laughs> the price of a room came at the cost of your life. And the owner was a liar, a fraud, and quite possibly the most prolific murderer in American history. Transpose some imaginary imagery over these lines. Effects of screams and sobbing. Oh my god. <laughs> Kate turns away from the desk and exits frame. Cut two. On Kate's slow pull back as she walks through the lobby, Kate continued, as we've already seen that bloody rain come to an end in the Philadelphia courtroom where H.H. H. Holmes was handed the same sentence he inflicted upon so many others, death. And in 1895, his hotel, or murder castle as it became known, was gutted in an act of suspected, this is garbage. This is garbage, Charlie. Arson before the building itself was torn down in 1938, consigning another part of Holmes' infamy into history, or so it seemed. Does our audience understand consigning? Does our crew understand consign, consigning? Kate stops. Camera continues to pull back, revealing the space around her. Kate continued. Location, TBC. It may look like I've stepped back into these dangerous days of 1893, but I can assure you I'm safe and sound in present-day Illinois, where a team of talented production designers have undertaken a most remarkable act of recreation. In a recreation of this infamous building, where noted an entrepreneur and H.H. H. Holmes expert, Grantham DeMott <laughs> has. Kate continued, you can almost hear the desperate screams from the unfortunate guests trapped here, doomed to become Holmes' next victims. So, without further ado, let's step back in time and maybe see if we can't uncover a few macabre secrets that might still be lingering. Take this extraordinary opportunity to... Kate exits frame. Screams, I think. Erin can do this. Not sure I want legal on my case if she has an asthma attack. Mm hmm No numbers here. 
Oh shit, we do have a torch, okay. Um Oh, here we go. 0451 0451 0451 Yes. Awesome. God, yep. something from this century. No. What is this special feature unlocked? Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, be careful. Ah, oh, okay. Oh. Um, that one's looking at me. So, what, they stop? Okay. No, 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 get pumped. Alright. Alright, back up, back up. Ah, damn it! Back up! Alright, now put that in the thing. Yeah, in the yes, thank you. The sun is coming up. I had to build my own little castle, just like Holmes did. Most people like me do their business where their target lives. That's just asking to get caught. Holmes had the right idea. It's all about the honey trap. You bring me some smokes, like I asked? Lucky reds? Yes. Oh, these are like gold in here. Damn, that's good. So, yeah. The honey pot. Holmes built a hotel about a mile from the World's Fair and called it the World's Fair Hotel and bought ad space in papers alongside ads for the expo. The rooms from far and wide assumed it was the official hotel. Come on, Pa Kettle. Take a train in from Nebraska. It takes three days. They roll up into that joint ready to rest, get to their room, and whoops. 
What do you know? Holmes had a gas pipe hidden under the bed and poisons them. Or maybe he pulls a trap door on them. Maybe he separates them and makes one watch through a window while he slits the other's throat. That's the advantage of a honeypot. No shortage of targets. <laughs> That's why I picked all those houses north of the airport. The whole neighborhood was scheduled for demolition, and yet all those lovely realtor ladies must not have gotten the memo. Call up as a contractor. Tell them I'm flipping. Have them meet me out there. And look at that. We're the only two people for miles. The first couple times I wait for a plane to fly over just to hide their screams, but after a while I realized they could scream as loud as they wanted. No one was gonna hear a thing. Moral of the story, but don't isolate yourself. Those screams. You can try to understand why I am the way I am. You can forensic science up all the data you want. You'll never know. You'll never know, Monday. You'll never really know how it feels when you watch the fire burn out of somebody. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. All right, return to return to the lobby. Where's the PA? You need one. Got to be smarter than the chair, boss. Yeah, yeah. Where the hell is everyone? It's a two-person job to pull Kate away from her mirror. <laughs> Mischievous, you should write a book on managing a crew. Reflective. Sorry if I stirred shit up at dinner. Just say sorry. Hey, sorry if I stirred shit up at dinner. I didn't mean for it all to end up on you. Don't worry, I get it. I'm the boss. Angst rolls uphill. Forget about it. Cool, thanks. <coughs> what the hell? Guys, guys, somebody is in here with, with me. Oh, God. Hmm. 
no. No. Oh, shit. I mean, I don't want to attack. I don't know who. It, I mean, I'm going to take it. He's going to stab me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's what I thought. Somebody was right there. Uh, she Either was delirious. Yeah, she was panicking. No, it was not a dummy. He he had a hat on, like H.H. H. Holmes. Charles, you're working her to death. Now she's hallucinating shit from the show? I did not. Yeah, Nothing because every, every, knew everyone okay. just no hallucinates, yeah? So just calm down, get everyone back to her room for a rest. I'm not fucking tired. Let's yeah. go. Come on, Mary. I don't think it's common for people to hallucinate. I hate it how it's, it's always used as like, a, oh, you're seeing things. Mm. Yes, curator, can I... Oh, I've got some coins to give you. Ah. There you are. I think Erin's shown signs of serious pluck, wouldn't you pluck. say? Now, where's our wayward host, Mr. Dumet? He's Apparently, gone. Apparently, he's left the island. I think so. How very rude not to stay for dinner. Charlie managed to rally the troops, though, and a good thing. Mm. The road ahead is full of challenges. Yeah. We can't I can only fight. observe, and it can be frustrating to watch. In some ways, I envy you. I only record events. You get to shape them. You'd better get back to things before one of our friends makes a poor choice on their own. I have coins. Don't you want my coins? Let's just all take a deep breath and not lose our minds. No, Charles. We're done. This has been weird every step of the way, and now it's getting scary. Oh, relax. I'm serious. Everything about this is off. Mm -hmm. Kills me to admit it, but Kate is right. What are you? Oh my Somebody God, Somebody tried up. to attack Aaron. <laughs> we don't know that's what actually happened. So immature. I know what I saw. In the dark. You think I'm making this up? Everyone relax, okay? Just give me a second to think. Excuse you. <sighs> And exit stage left, our oh-so-confident and sure leader. What was that? Are you... Charlie is thinking, which looks a lot like a temper tantrum. Maybe he's right. Is that what it is? If we don't crush this episode, we're all screwed. Are you kidding me? What? I'm just I've saying... I've been waiting on you for ages to actually make a decision about something. Anything. And now... This is when you suddenly choose to take a stand? Sorry, maybe I'm crazy, but if Aaron says somebody came for her, I believe her. Mm -hmm. We're not safe here. It was just a dummy. You think I'm lying? Really? I think maybe you're just confused about what you saw in the dark. I know what I saw. Right. <sighs> Here's the plan. We've already got a plan. It's leaving. Just listen. How? <sighs> We cannot jump to conclusions. I'm going to go and find Dumet and get clear on everything. Everything is going to be fine, OK? And we're going to get the footage we need. He didn't show for dinner. What makes you think you can find him now? A positive attitude. You should try it sometime. Bravo, Charles. Your delusions make for such great plans. Dumet left. I saw it, remember? 
Maybe he's back now. Maybe he's not. Would it kill you to think positively just once? Hmm. I guess as far as Charlie ideas go, it's not the worst he's ever had. It's not even the worst idea I've had this evening. Don't go patting yourself on the back. I still think your priorities are fucked. Whatever. I'm going. I'm coming with you. Wait. Do you have to go? I'll be right back. Promise. Just stay put so I know where to find you, okay? I don't care what he says. I'm done. I'm getting my shit together. Okay. I'm leaving, Mark. You coming or not? Aaron so leaving, leaving okay, is an option? You're right. Sorry. I thought we couldn't. Charlie said, because they said, are we going to swim? So that I assume they're trapped. having a damn job. You're right. Let's go, Aaron. Everything's going to be okay. Wait here. Can't you just stay here while I pack up my stuff? I don't want to waste any time. I'm right around the corner. Let's all be quick. We'll be right back. I promise. No, don't. Sorry, just still freaked out. Can you leave it open so you guys can hear me? Of course. Okay, genius. Where are we going to look first for Demet? I'm not looking for Demet. I'm scouting for shots. If he pops up along the way, great. Jesus. You really don't care about anything else, do you? Of course I care. Tell that to Kate. You know as well as I do, if we're set up and a camera is rolling, she'll want to be in front of it. <sighs> Asshole. Look for Dumet, okay. No, where are we going? Like, where? Oh, all right, let's, um, I guess now we should be able to go out the front door, maybe? What happened here? I... Hmm. No idea. What's that? Blood? What's this? Oh, that's the thing. Yeah. I wonder if that groundskeeper would know where Demet went. No, we're not commenting on the blood. Hey, I found Dumet's business card. Uh -huh. Okay. Wait, so he's getting impaled or stabbed by, yeah, okay, a hook, yeah, okay, all right, okay. Huh? No power? What do you mean? I've turned it on! Ugh. Um. Oh, in the bar, okay. I was thinking, where's... Oh, we can't go there. I was thinking, where are the smokes? They're in the bar. Can we get out here? Yes. Jamie, over here. Okay, yeah. I'm freaking the fuck out. It's just blood. Just blood? What the fuck? <laughs> are you kidding me? You're jumping to conclusions. All we know is something was dragged along this way and it was bleeding. And that's not a cause for concern to you? No. Right, it's a little odd. Odd? What do you want me to say? Look, it's probably just Dumet or the groundskeeper dragging in some dead animal from outside. Maybe it's our dinner. Oh my god. <laughs> Isn't he supposed to be pessimistic? He's cynical. He's overly positive right now. Like, it's just blood. It's fine all right i don't know why for some reason i thought this was outside Welcome, one and all to tonight's entertainment oh what the fuck presented by grantham dumet dumet what so he hasn't left okay <laughs> not necessarily all right can we go in here no Oh, 
Agent Monday on October 12th, 1997, at O'Hare Airport when I was assigned to welcome him off the plane. I'd actually met him once before at a lecture on criminal behavior given a few weeks prior here in Chicago, but I doubt he remembered me from that. I was pretty nervous as the new kid on the block. I was just out of training, and I'd been assigned to drive around this big shot criminal profiler who just cracked the Arkansas case, which was all over the national newspapers. My first impressions were that he was tall. What? Okay. Hmm. I really, I like the stylization of those parts, you know? It's kind of cool. Have I seen this? No. Okay. Recordings of his victims. What's this though? Look. <laughs> Lovely. Okay. It's fine. It's all right. What the fuck? Stop! Look! Bracelet. It's a fucking booby trap. You shift your weight off that plate. And this guy is getting run through by that thing. So, Jamie, find something to put on the plate so I can step off. We didn't step back, we stayed. Did, did you see him? The mask? What the hell was that? What do we do? Break the fucking door down. Right. On I'm three. Fine. One, two, three. You're not gonna be able to. 
bit of smashing a window or something. You hear that? Yes. What is happening? Mm. I feel like I have hair like everywhere. <sighs> Find your spirit crystal? I was gonna my crystal. Don't do that. And don't make fun of me. Sorry. Wouldn't want you to cut yourself. The rock is sharp as hell and, you know, super magical. It's an amethyst crystal. It, it helps keep you calm by blanketing you in protective energy. I know. Is it fully charged? You know, then don't call it a rock. Maybe by the I just moon. feel like you should take responsibility of your own emotions and think stop that's outsourcing the job to a crystal. what you have to do. Complain. Maybe you're right. Complaint. Maybe you're right, Kurt. It makes me feel better. Well... Compliant. Yeah, it makes me feel better. It makes me feel better. Okay. Something you never seem to be able to do. Oh my god, like, okay, okay all right. Okay, maybe that was a shitty thing to say. I'm sorry. Okay. It's fine. This isn't the time or place to... I have to tell you something. Okay. Earlier, you brought up that DP job I blew off. I never told you the truth about it. Mm. About what? It wasn't a job, not really. What are you talking about? Remember my friend Murray? He was setting up a studio in Brooklyn, Fine Arts. He wanted a partner. That's your dream. Yeah, there is exactly zero money to made, so I thought you'd tell me it was insane, rightfully, because it would be. Provocative, you, you should have chased the dream confused. Why didn't you go for it? Why the hell didn't you go for it? Why didn't you tell me? Things were already starting to get tough for us. Oh, no, no, no. Don't put any of this on me. This is all you. I know. I turned it down because it would have taken me away from you. Surprised. I didn't think about that flippant, stupid choice. I mean, you could have discussed it at least. I what? I guess I didn't even think of that. I... I just... Uh, what do you want me to say? Guess I was holding out for things to change with us. Deep down, I'm still hoping. Apprehensive, you should have said this before. I said I was honest about my priorities. I mean, like, what the fuck do you want her to do? I you know? Said this before. Like, I, know. I gave up my dreams for you. Oh my god, you're right. I must be with again. you now. What like, if this time is different. Oh, come on. Uh, That's not likely, and you know it. Okay. It seemed to go out of, come out of nowhere, but all right. Well. <laughs> what? Uh, that that didn't help things. <laughs> <laughs> we better go. Uh huh. Let's get back to Aaron and get the fuck out of here. That was weird. Do you think they found Dumet? Charles seems hell bent on talking to him, so maybe, yeah. Who's going around locking these doors? You met his uh, little helper in the yellow coat. Where's Aaron? Heard the doors open, okay. So just look for an open door. Wait. What's that? Is this somebody's idea of a fucking joke? How is this here? Did you bring this? No. Is it her? Yeah. Shelby. Matching nails? God, don't. We always got them done the same. That's mm. him. What? That's him. The guy in the back. You know him? Kinda did. 
He was just one of those guys that was always around. Moved mm -hmm. at some of the same parties, but that's it. It was my fault. You know, that's not true. The night it happened, I was supposed to meet her. We were going to grab some drinks, go to a party. I slept through. It was a big deal on campus not to go out on your own. And Shelby waited for me when I didn't show, and that's when they, that's when he got her. It's okay. It's not fucking okay. It can't be. I have to live with it every day, and now someone knows. Someone wanted me to find this. What the hell is that? I have no idea. But I feel like it's bad. What the hell? Get over here, now! Charlie! I can't hold this. You have to get the fuck out any way you can. Just get the fuck out! Now! Jamie! Charlie! What the hell just happened? I don't know, but I think it's really, really bad. Nah. <laughs> it isn't moving. So now what? We're fucked. That has to be a way around. Yeah, maintenance corridors, crawl space, has to be. Look for the others, okay. <gasps> Uh, What's going on? Demet, what the hell is going on with him? He was nervous the whole way here. I chalked it up to him just being eccentric. There's a lot of miles between eccentric and murderous. Let's think about this. You saw Dumet take off. So maybe he found out there was a killer and bugged out? Maybe. Or perhaps the man we met wasn't actually Dumet. And the dude in the mask is? Hmm. Yeah. That contraption, that's a hell of a lot to set up. That was planned out, every bit of it. It was set up for us to find. Which makes it even more likely the dude on the ferry wasn't really Dumet. Mm -hmm. Mother fucker. What? Brick wall. Keep going. Just like Holmes. I know, I don't want to think about it. Are we just going around in a big circle? Hmm. Trying to map this in my head. But I think Erin's room has been completely cut off. Jesus, Charlie. Why is he messing with her? Because she's the most easily frightened. No. The most vulnerable. Don't you watch our show? So that's a dead end. That's what these sociopaths do. Alright, so there's a way out. Is there anything over here? Or is this where I've been? All right. Oh, what the fuck? Is that a kid? Mm. Oh, good. You hear a creepy kid voice too. I was worried I was finally it's snapping. It's not a creepy kid. Where's it coming from? It's a victor. It's what's his name? It's kids. His wife, his two kids, and his brother, I think it was. Charlie, come here. Let's get this open.
<laughs> Look for the others. Search We're in a bloody nesting doll. What? A Russian nesting doll. You know? A doll in a doll in a doll. Are you losing your shit? Because I don't need that right now. We're locked in a kitchen, trapped in a hotel, stranded on an island. Even if we get out of this room... How do we get out of the hotel? Exactly. Or off the island. Maybe we just focus on one thing at a time. This room first. You're right. Of course. Natalie Morello. Mm -hmm. Oh, are you... Shit. Ah, fuck! Holy shit! It's a fucking body! You think? Meet the last party that visited this hotel. You don't know that. Maybe... Fuck. You're probably right. Charlie, I found a way out, maybe. Look, this one swings out. We can probably force it easier than the others. Stand back. That's not what I was expecting. Ah, Amy! Ah. Ah. Mm, okay. Yeah. Charlie? I know somebody was in there. 11.03. I, I, I can't, I can't breathe. Can I relax? Why am I pressing that? I want to make it louder. We gotta hear this. Wait. Guys? Hello? Hey! Charlie? Mark? Jamie? Come on, come on. Stop being such a damn wimp. Really? I mean, if ever there was a reason <laughs> to be a wimp. Uh, we have two left. All right. Okay, I took it. What do you mean? I took it. Why am I... Okay. Why, why is my camera like this? What was I too late? Did I wait too long to take the inhaler? Treatment for what? Snake oil ointment made from the finest King Cobra Silverash Institute. Um. So did I not take it? Breathless. Erin used the inhaler in the blackout room. 
Erin didn't use her inhaler to calm herself before entering the newly unlocked room. Okay. I hesitated because we have two left. Like, how do you only have two? What the hell? Erin, you should have been more prepared. You can't breathe. Oh, so we're fine now? Are they real? Are they real people? Oh, we're fine now. See, do you really have us? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, okay. Oh, what the hell? Can I do it again or? What is that in his mouth? Mm. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Hmm. All right, just open it. Come on, just open it. Mr. Kume, I want my team dead. I'll get them to you this weekend. Just do it. Jesus. What the hell? Charlie. Erin found evidence that Charlie was complicit in the murders while searching the Silver Ash Institute. What murders? Um, is it really him? Okay. Alright. I mean, hmm. Well, fuck you, Jamie. Laurel, who's the cutie in that pic you posted? Totally your type. You're so predictable. Jamie, who, Erin? Please, my type is badass bitch, not timid woodland creature. She's shy. She's clueless. Her face always looks lost and confused. Mm, is this real? I don't know. Is he like trying to turn them on each other? Like against each other, maybe? I mean, he does have their phones. I guess. Yeah. Shit. Dear Mr. Thompson, why don't you leave me the hell alone? Dear Miss Mundy, I have tried to contact you by telephone for a number of weeks regarding your son's recent behaviour in school. Hector has been lashing out frequently at other children in, in an aggressive and threatening manner. During gym class this week, his teacher noticed he had come to school with severe bruising on his legs. We are very concerned about his welfare. Please contact me at your earliest convenience to discuss. Sincerely... Glenn Thompson, principal. Okay, so this is the detective's wife, so the detective's kid. Monday, Monday. Aaron, hello? Jamie. Jamie? Aaron, you there? Uh. 
Hello? Can you hear me? What is happening? What? You're not safe, Aaron. How are- You have to listen to me. Do exactly as I say. Okay, um, accusatory. I saw your text. Now it's not the time. Confused. What is going on? What is going on? Jamie, what is going on? Where are you? I don't- Just listen. Listen, there's a cupboard in there. You have to get inside right now. What are you talking about? Just hide, Aaron. How do you... Why are you telling me this? What's happening? Aaron, How do you know now, all of this? Trust me, okay? Um, okay. Shit. Um. Fuck. Uh. This goes against everything I believe in. Hide. Do our breathing exercises? No? Okay. Okay. How did she know that? How did she know that he was there? Trolley? Jamie? She... Hello? Where the hell are they? Hopefully somewhere safe, wondering where the hell we are. Kate, check this out. What is going on? <laughs> are, are we locked in here? Looks like it, yeah. Wait. Shh. What? Shh. You hear that? Is that them? Where's it coming from? Somebody's in the restaurant. from it we're showing the only mannequins disturbed what has charlie gotten us into yeah disturbed this is beyond messed up i don't know what charlie's gotten us into but if i see dumet i'm gonna fuck him up sincere immature protective passionate kate full bar all right he's pretty on, he's on pretty good terms with everyone okay uh, good job, Mark. Good job. Um, seven. Okay, this is fucked up. Yeah. What the hell is going on? Yeah. <laughs> Has anyone seen Mr. Dumet? Jesus, it looks just like him. Not really. Nobody, somebody just threw these together in the last couple of hours. Mm. Lucky he had a spare hat. I don't know what's going on with um Charlie. You hear that? I don't know if I believe Push it. Steps. And they're getting closer. Watch out. 
I don't see anything. Yes. <laughs> Jamie. Thank God. I'm so glad to see you guys. We have to get the hell out of here. Empathetic. Glad you're okay. Probing. What happened? I'm glad you're oh okay, God. girl. When that wall shut, I... I'm just glad you're okay. Demet killed his groundskeeper. What? Right in front of us. I mean, we don't know if it was a setup. Him. I mean, he was wearing a mask, and I know how that sounds, but I'm not joking. And now he's after Aaron, so we need to move. Well, obviously, you're not Wait, making it on. up. Like... Where's Charlie? I don't know. We got separated. No way this is happening. You know, so when our bodies wash up on the other side, are you of the fucking lake, kidding me? Bodies dead. Jesus, dead. shut bodies it up. Dead. 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 Who was that? This. Oh my god. It's fake. A prop or from an animal or something. It has to be. No, 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 no way. Oh my god. Don't, don't touch it. Oh, oh, it's real. It's fucking real. I told you this was all too much. Let's get out of here. Oh, it's locked. What's going on? The door I came through is locked too. Do men. You wanna play around? Get out here. Right now. Let's fucking play. Let's play, motherfucker. <laughs> Charlie, basement. Uh. All right, we're doing well. No one's died. Yet. Let's do this, Charlie. Find a way out of the basement. Okay. Obviously, we'll check this first. Alright. Can't use anything. Nope. Okay. Jamie! Hello! Jamie! I'm okay! Okay. Oh shit. Mm. Oh. Cage key. All Okay. Come on. No. Oh my god, I let go. Alright, come on. 
Chicago killer victim one cause of death abdominal injuries victim's ear was removed by severely sharp object possibly scalpel abdominal injuries John Doe number two I'm assuming you've read my report on the first one similar MO unidentified male with multiple stab wounds Looking at the lower abdomen, the wounds are consistent with those of the first victim. The shape of the entry wound suggests it's a strong probability that this is the same murder weapon. Looks like we've got a souvenir hunter here. Mm -hmm. This time the left ear has been severed. Clean incision. Probably a scalpel or a razor blade. Very tidy. Nice job, actually. Very little bleeding. The deceased had probably been dead for 30 to 40 minutes when this was done. Mm. This differs from the earlier MO. If you remember, that John Doe was still alive when the teeth were removed. That would have created a lot of noise in this. This guy is learning. Okay, so it's a different killer, you're saying, but same murder weapon? Okay. Anything else? No? Nope. Okay. Spray paint. Logbook. Okay, can we open it or? Yep. Um, hmm. Date, time, occurrence, signature. 2017. Most of the crew have arrived on the island, moved all the equipment up to the hotel, met with hotel proprietor, Mr. Belknap. Uh, on site assessment has begun. Excavation has begun in the hotel basement. Eligible. Work on the first and second floors going as expected. Some equipment has gone missing. Filed a report and requested replacements via Mr. Belknap per our contract. James Kelly has left the project. Left a note citing an emergency. Didn't contact me directly. Written report to follow. First set of moving walls have been implemented. Acquired a copy of the blueprints for Mr. Belkner. Started work on basement ceiling supports. El eligible, eligible, eligible. Bobby has left me high and dry here. Second loyal guy to leave me this project. Bar renovation begun. Eligible basement plumbing has been completed. Second floor renovations to be completed next week. Bar renovation completed. Project efficiency in good. Project effic efficiency is good. If this continues, we'll meet the agreed date. Mmm. Wow. Well done. Two men down. Still on time. Uh, eligible reconstructed all moving walls complete. Okay. That's it. Okay. <laughs> Signal receivers installed. More reports of missing equipment. Third replacement requested. Filed this month. Project completed at agreed date. Proprietor is requesting additional work on the spa area beneath the hotel. Only a small skeleton crew are still on the island, so we will conduct initial cost assessments whilst waiting to hear back from Kelly. Renovate received correspondence from Kelly. Skeleton crew remaining. Laura, Monica, Ryan, Frank and I will move forward with work on the spa until the crew returns. Ryan has left me a note saying his mum isn't well. I'm sure she died years ago. We'll see if Mr. Belknap will allow me to contact him. Okay. Can I call? Can I make a phone call, please? Not suspicious at all. Laura finished installing the tannoy system with Mr. Belknap. He said he wasn't, she wasn't feeling well afterwards. So he offered her one of the rooms to sleep it off. Haven't received any correspondence from Kelly about where the rest about where the rest of the crew are. What is going on? Laura hasn't come out of her room and Monica has just left. I can't contact Kelly. Tomorrow I will return to the mainland 
with Frank and Laura. This job is ridiculous. All right, that's it. We'll go, we'll go forward to see if there's anything else. No, that's it. One. Shit. Um. What the hell was that? Are we hiding or are we running? Oh my god, so stressful. I'm a runner, usually. But I've learnt in Until Dawn that's not always the best way, but I can't help it, you know? Like, running just seems like the most you know, logical thing to do, but I don't know. <laughs> All right, are we just Going into another cell. Talking to the doll. Haha. Ha. Appropriate time to crack jokes. Oh. What's that? Oh my god. Uh, yep, yeah, back up, back up, back up. Mm -mm. I don't know. There's gas. Am I gonna get gassed? Or blow up? Alright, come on. Alright, get over. Uh, you use your fucking card. Come on. Yep, cool, got it. Did I just burn someone alive? Come on. Mm, come on. 
too long, too long. I want to go in there but the game's telling me that I can and then I sh don't trick me game that would piss me off that's gonna fire's gonna come out of there um you know what can I turn something off first um can I go turn that fire thing back off I'm going to do that um So I think that if I go there, I'm going to catch fire. I I'm just... I don't know. Um... Alright, where's the vent? Where's the, I mean, where's the thing? The thing. You don't have your torch. Where's the... I can't, I can't close it? Is that it there? That's it there, why, oh, I can't turn it off again, shit, alright, well, I, it's the only way to go, I think, so, um, can we turn, like, any, does any gas need to be turned off, or, I don't know, I hear some air, you know, What's this? Can I turn this off? I don't know. Mm, what about this? Can I turn that off? No. Can I turn that off? No. Alright, this is the only way to go. Alright, I can't. I have to go here. Alright. Well, hello, gorgeous. Really? Well, even so, even now, really? Praise the Lord. It's real. This is gonna be the best cigarette of your life. I mean, I don't know. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> no, we're not. Get off the vents. No, what are you? Mm, it's gonna go chew fire. Yeah, I knew it. Gas. Yep. Um. I mean, there was no way I could get out of this. Hey, hey, hello. Like I knew it was gonna yeah. happen, but there was no way, nothing I could do about it. Hey. You look a little like Johnny Depp. <laughs> you want a lot? No, I don't. I'm 
purse to get out of this. Force door, lift gate. I can't force door. Things are starting to heat up for our friends. Charlie's goose may be cooked. It can be difficult working with someone you've been involved with. But I think Mark and Kate may be finding a way and learning some new things about each other. And how do we feel about Mr. Dumet's lovely animatronics? I think they're rather clever. Some of them look very realistic. You would. I wonder where he sources the parts. I wonder. It I would only know. be fair at this stage to offer up a little hint to even the odds. All right. What do you think? Yeah, all right. Let's take some inspiration from the works of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Not Apparently, our friend Herman Mudgett was so enamored with Sherlock Holmes that he borrowed his surname. Hmm. Here. <clears throat> he has a brain of the first order. He sits motionless like a spider in the center of its web. But that web has a thousand radiations, and he knows well every quiver of each of them. I hope that helps. No, you never help. You you never help at all. You're no help. You're never any help. You have incredibly good posture. <laughs> You'd better get back to things. Best of luck. 